So I have a Rotax 100 horsepower engine on the Revolt. I used 100% ab gas. And I was asked by several people to take a photograph of the oil tank. I'm gonna take the oil tank off and see what kind of sludge is on the oil tank. So 100 hours total on the Revolt. I have 25 hours on the first oil change, another 25 hours on the second oil change, and on this oil change I went 50 hours. So you can see the bottom portion and notice that it's perfectly clear of any sludge. That's the baffle that sits on top of the canister and this is the screen. The screen fits down inside. So as I start to pour out the oil from the very bottom of the canister, the baffle pops out. And then underneath the baffle you can see where the actual sludge is at. And the oil that I used was exclusively Aero Shell Sport Plus 4, which is what is required by the Rotax engine. I ran my fingers with a paper towel through the bottom, and you can see it's not very thick. And in my opinion, it's worth cleaning at 100 hours if you're using exclusively 100 low lead. And I was able to clean the entire bottom of the canister with one paper towel. And it was very easy to clean. All right, this is the pan or the baffle that goes on the bottom, and it goes up with the so that it catches the oil. That would be wrong because it wouldn't catch the oil. This is up, so make a crater in there. I put the baffle in the bottom, and now the screen is going to go in. So that just goes down and it sets up over the baffle. And we're ready to put it back on. And then we go flying over the Indian ruins. Thanks for watching our video. And if you haven't seen our other videos, check out Larson Adventures. This footage is shot just northwest of Gila Bend in Arizona. Thanks for watching.